Yo, what is up, guys? This is James Carter TV, and NFL free agency has begun, and within hours of free agency starting just three hours ago, we've had a lot of uh, headlines being made, and I'm going to be covering uh, the NFL free agency. I'm going to be making videos uh, a lot, so you're going to be seeing me a lot. I don't want to be like Sean's View Entertainment or anything, but hell, this is free agency. You know I'm going to be popping videos up 24-7, keeping you all updated on what you need to know. So... You see that man right there, Brandon Marshall. Brandon Marshall has been traded to the Chicago Bears for two third-round draft picks. And honestly, if I was any other team in the NFL with a receiver need, I would have gave the Dolphins this these draft picks. I mean, come on, uh, a, a third draft, a third-round draft pick in 2012 and 2013 for Brandon Marshall, a Pro Bowl wide receiver. In fact, someone that went to the Pro Bowl and had five touchdowns. The only reason Brandon Marshall. Uh, and nobody even knows who this guy is, and, well, people do, but honestly, come on. This man has not had a quarterback, he's not had anyone to throw to him at all. Once he has, now that he has Jay Cutler throwing to him, the Bears have a scary offense, ladies and gentlemen, because for the Bears, and I don't know if the Bears are stupid or what, but they finally got their heads together. They've been needing a receiver and a offensive line for years now, and it seems like they're actually starting to piece this together. And now that they have the 19th draft pick, uh, draft pick in the draft, and now this now they have this additional third rounder, maybe now they can finally worry about getting some pass protection for Jay Culler as well. So finally, Jay Culler has someone to throw to consistently. Brandon Marshall, Jay Culler, they know each other. Um, they had a great one um, when they were with the Broncos. This is going to be very interesting to see. The Chicago Bears trying to bounce back and get back to the Super Bowl. Uh, well, get to the Super Bowl is what they should, you know, they should have been two years ago. But hey, you know what? Ah. Um, but I really like this. Uh, where you know this thing with Brandon Marshall, him going to uh, the Chicago Bears. This that just makes Chicago a lot better. Yeah, they did get. I mean, come on, they're two, you know, third round draft picks. Any team they receiver should have made this deal. This was a deal that Chicago is willing to make. Uh, so, uh, well, the Miami's willing to make, but let's move on to the next topic. Pierre Garçon, uh, has signed with the Washington Redskins, and the reason I find this significant is because, um, the Redskins are really trying to build around Robert Griffin III now. They're really setting up a good receiving core with them, and basically the fact that the Redskins are doing stuff for free agency is no surprise to me. They do this every year. I mean, hell, they got Albert Poo, uh, Albert, I'm gonna say Albert Pujols. Albert Haynesworth last year, Gaffney they got, uh, Star Starworth they got as well. But th there's just it really shows me that the Redskins are really trying to build around Robert Griffin III, trying to give him a good receiving core to throw to. Once, unlike the Colts, who their best receiver is Austin Colley at the moment. So I'm still waiting to see what the Colts are trying to do with receiver because even though Andrew Luck is supposed to be the greatest quarterback of this decade, of this upcoming of this, you know, uh, of this, you know, new era in the NFL, if you will, they they're not starting him with any receivers. And now that Garcon's gone with the Redskins, you know, that that's really setting up the Redskins ni nicely to have a good offense because people don't realize this about the Redskins. The only reason, you know, well, I mean, there's other reasons like their defense has been inconsistent too, but Really, with the Redskins, is they have not had a quarterback. They have not drafted a quarterback in a long time. And now that this team is finally drafting a quarterback and now setting up that quarterback nicely, and they also franchise Fred Davis, by the way, that is going to set him up, uh, set him up nicely, and that's going to have he's going to have a lot of weapons to use. And we already know that Robert Griffin uh, sets up the system perfectly, and you know it really looks good for Robert Griffin right now going into that situation. I would actually be happy to be a Washington Redskin if I am Robert Griffin the third, and that's a lot to say because honestly, <laughs> you know you want to stay far away from the Redskins as possible. But now, if I'm Robert Griffin the third, I'm like, hey, thank you to the Washington Redskins for actually setting me up nicely. If I'm uh, if I'm Andrew Luck, I'm like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Before I come to the team, I need someone to throw to. I mean, come on, give me someone to give the football to. And finally, we move on to Randy Moss. And this dude broke before free agency. It actually broke last yesterday, excuse me. And actually, you know, Randy Moss actually worked out the 49ers yesterday morning. And then it was yesterday night that the 49ers actually signed Randy Moss. So they must have really liked what Randy Moss was doing. And also something comedic about that, about the workout with Randy Moss was that um, that, uh, that Jim Harbaugh was throwing Randy Moss balls, I actually found that, uh, pretty interesting, but the thing is, with Randy Moss, it's not, they signed a one-year, I think it was $2.5 million contract, 
uh, pretty decent for Randy Moss, even though he's not as great as he used to be. But I really want to see what Randy Moss can do because he's going to have an off season to run the, off, the 49ers offense, which is really run based anyway. The the one thing I I, I want to see what this can do. Now, Randy Moss doesn't necessarily have to be a deep threat. He doesn't have to necessarily get separation uh, when it comes to the deep ball. I would like to see Randy Moss doing slant routes because if they can get him in slant routes, get Randy Moss the ball, let him run a little bit, you know, let him probably maybe even break loose, but that's going to set up Frank Gore even better because then that's going to stress the defense that Frank Gore can pound them up the middle. It's going to make the 49ers hard to defend, and the 49ers haven't been hard to defend for a long time. So, uh, especially in the Alex Smith era. Uh, so this is very interesting uh, that Randy Moss is coming to the 49ers. I mean, we all know the 49ers needed a wide receiver. I mean, Matt Michael Cratchy, that's just not going to cut it. Uh, Vernon Davis, he's a great tight end, but he's a tight end. The 49ers needed a wide receiver, and I would have liked to see them go after maybe Vincent Jackson, maybe uh, Robert uh, Mar Marquez Colston, if he would have been a free agent. Maybe even Robert Meacham, hell. So I was throwing anybody, but they went with Randy Moss, which is okay. You go with a veteran wide receiver, but I still, woo, excuse me. I still would have liked to see them go after Vincent Jackson, maybe. And maybe someone more, you know, fit, someone more that you know has been good and will give you 100%. Even though they did work him out and he apparently looked good. He's only 35 years old, so he's not really that old. But, you know, we still haven't seen him play well in a long time. So we're going to have to see how he goes with Randy Moss. But, uh, I, honestly, I think this is a good pickup by the 49ers. We're going to see where they go from here. All right, guys, James Carter TV. You know I'll be back here as soon as uh, more news strikes. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more. Y'all know how it is. James Carter TV. I'm out. Peace.